Hello Pisces, thank you so much for checking out this video. This is going to be a you versus them love reading. I'm gonna be looking at your partner, your energies, like your mutual energies. Um, so today's reading will be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and it'll be a general reading. So it will not resonate with every Pisces watching. Keep that in mind. Feel free to check out your other placements for more messages. All right, let's get into it, Pisces. Spirit, what messages can you give me for Pisces, please? regarding love. This message will be for those of you who already have someone that you're involved with or someone that you're in a connection with of some sort. Spirit, what messages do you have for Pisces regarding the person they are dealing with? Messages for Pisces and the person they are dealing with. All right, Pisces, we'll look at your mutual energies first. Huge thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, subscribed to the channel. I really appreciate it. I read all of your comments as well. I appreciate your comments. Um, thank you so much. Uh, it's getting to the point that I cannot respond to all of them, but I do read them all. So thanks again. All right, Pisces, let's see. What are the mutual energies between Pisces and the person they are dealing with spirit? Mutual energies for Pisces and the person they are dealing with. The lovers, beautiful sign of Gemini. Okay, what are the mutual energies between Pisces and the person they are dealing with? Knight of Cups, wow, okay, so this is great. You're both feeling a strong connection here. Someone wants to make an offer of some sort, it could be an apology or it could be an offer of love. There's a lot of love here. So I'm going to start with your energies first, Pisces. I'm going to have you over here and your person on this side. But feel free to flip the roles if they resonate more. Whoa. Spirit. Oh my gosh, I can't even talk. Spirit, what are the messages or what are the thoughts and feelings that Pisces has towards this connection? What are the thoughts and feelings? Okay, so we got two. Six of Swords. Okay. Wanting to leave a situation, Nine of Cups, possibly to head to your Nine of Cups here, Pisces. What are the thoughts and feelings that Pisces has towards this connection? Okay, this is too many, but I'm going to take them. Wow, Two of Cups. Wow, Pisces. And then I have Six of Wands. Interesting. You are all in, Pisces. That's what I see. You're willing to go wherever... <laughs> wherever whenever whatever you have to do you want to succeed you want this connection to succeed so let's see about your person how do they feel so how does the person that pisces is dealing with what are their thoughts and feelings towards this connection spirit what is the person that pisces is dealing with what are their thoughts and feelings six of wheels so six of pentacles in this deck so maybe this person is wanting to give to you to rebalance something. What are the person, the person that Pisces is doing with, what are their thoughts and feelings towards the connection? What are their thoughts and feelings towards the connection spirit? The star, okay, beautiful. Possibly wanting to heal a connection, possibly healing from something, feeling like you are their wish. And there's a queen of pentacles. Wanting long-term stability. You could be dealing with a um, earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You could be dealing with an Aquarius, a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or a Gemini. Doesn't have to be. Those are just the energies that are on the board, but, you know, we all have those signs in our charts. So, bottom of the deck, I have the Seven of Swords. Interesting. Some sort of sneaky, shifty behavior here. Could be a strategy or it could be them being sneaky about this. So let's clarify. Let's get deep into this. I'm going to start with the mutual energies, Spirit. Help me clarify these energies for Pisces. Now, time is fluid. So whatever situation I'm talking about today could have already happened, be currently happening or happen in the near future. Spirit, messages for Pisces regarding the person they are dealing with. Interesting, messages for Pisces. Let's start with the mutual energies. Tell me about the lovers and the Knight of Cups. This is like the current situation right now with what you both are feeling towards this connection. Tell me about the lovers and the Knight of Cups. 
Nine of Pentacles. Okay. What else can you tell me about the lovers and the Knight of Cups, please? <clears throat> Knight of Swords. Nine of Cups again. And this wanted to come out the Fool. Okay, so I'm seeing some sort of message coming in here. Someone sees you as their wish fulfillment or you see them as their wish fulfillment here. Um, wanting to start something new. Um, someone is seeing this per the, the other person as a nine of pentacles energy. Someone stable, insecure, attractive, has hard worker, has it all. Um, I really get the sense someone sees someone like this. Some of you could have been single for a while. And then here comes this Romeo. <laughs> so let's see, Pisces. I'll start with you. What's the Six of Swords about? What's the Six of Swords about for Pisces? What's the Six of Swords about? Three of Wands. Okay, looking out at um, somewhere else, a different path. So some of you left a situation or waiting for the right time to head towards someone. You could be at a distance from this person. Tell me more about the Six of Swords. The world. Yeah, you wrapped up a cycle here. It was only a matter of time. Tell me more about the world. Why is the world here? King of Pentacles, because you want stability. You want commitment. Possibly some of you were in a long-term commitment and you wrapped that up, left that. Others of you, this is what you want. You want long-term stability. You want long-term commitment. You want to move forward. Cherry at the bottom of the deck here. Tell me about the Nine of Cups. What's your wish fulfillment here? I feel like a lot of you left a situation or wrapped up a cycle of some sort to get your wish fulfillment. Tell me more about this Nine of Cups. Page of Swords. Interesting. Possibly been doing research or looking into someone that you feel could make you very happy someone that you're connecting with possibly tell me more about this nine of cups the higher font could be a taurus you definitely want commitment with someone there's a star again with the wish being granted someone sees you and only you or vice versa Why the higher font? Spirit, why the higher font? Because there's a lots of love. <laughs> Queen of Cups. Yeah, you're watching someone, wanting commitment with someone because you love them. I feel like these two are together. This two of cups, six of wands. You want victory with someone. You want this to happen. Um, I feel like you'll go anywhere to make this happen. Do what it takes, etc. Tell me about the six of Tell me about the six of wands for Pisces. What's the six of wands? Wow, look what just came out again. The lovers. Yeah. Someone wants victory. Someone wants love. Success. Tell me more about this lovers card. Eight of Swords. Someone was really thinking about this, feeling stuck possibly in their previous situation. Or just wanting, wanting uh, to move forward but unable to. Why the Eight of Swords? Why the Eight of Swords? Oh, okay. Judgment and Four of Pentacles. Because there's been some sort of evaluating of the past here. Possibly regret of, over the past. Learning from mistakes um, and... Feeling like you cannot let go of a situation. A lot of you were stuck in the past is what I'm seeing here. And there was some sort of judgment call or some sort of awakening that has happened to make you or help you let go. Some of you have not let go of reconnecting with someone, of having a second chance with someone. And this is like all you've been thinking about. You've been going in circles about this connection. Tell me about the Six of Pentacles for this person. Why is the Six of Pentacles here? Huh, Ace of Pentacles. 
there there's definitely someone that wants to rebalance the situation and they're doing it with an offer why the ace of pentacles why the ace of pentacles wow tower five of swords um they want to rebalance this whatever happened here um if there was some sort of blow up in the past if there was some sort of miscommunication in the past some sort of defeat in the past this person wants to come in and fix it they want to heal this situation is what i'm getting tell me about the star tell me about the star two of swords whoa why the two of swords why the two of swords Because of the unknown. Fear. Huh. Why the moon? Discontentment. Unsure. Fear of rejection. Fear of missing an opportunity. Someone's scared to miss out on something here. Um, I feel like they're trying to keep faith. Trying not to lose hope in fixing this connection. But they're also kind of stuck in their head about this, about how to go about making this offer. But they're coming in hot here. I have the Knight of Cups, Knight of Swords. There's the Knight of Cups under the deck. They definitely want to come in and make this right. Possibly with an apology. Wanting to tell you you are their wish fulfillment, you're everything they wanted. They want a new start. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? The Sun. Okay. They probably see you as a Queen of Pentacles energy where they can see long-term commitment with you. Um, you make them very happy. Tell me more about the Queen of Pentacles, please. Nine of Wands. They're not giving up on you. Let me move this over so you can see. This person's not giving up. This is a fighter, this Nine of Wands person. They, they might see you as guarded, but that's not keeping them away. Why the Nine of Wands? Possibly because of this tower moment up there. Three of Pentacles, okay. The devil at the bottom of the deck. Pisces, you're here. Scorpio, we have Capricorn, Earth, Aries. We have a lot of people here. Okay, so what I'm seeing here with the knight, the Queen of Pentacles, um, someone here is going to be working tires, tirelessly <laughs> to, to kind of get you to see that you make them happy, that you could be happy, that th this could work. Someone's going to um, let down their walls here possibly, or um, it's almost like they're scared that this is not going to happen. It's like, you know, I feel like you're both mirroring each other with the fear, with the worry about what happened in the past, possibly about whatever that tower moment was about. Um, I feel like it's causing some sort of blockage here where you're both of you are stuck, but wanting the same thing. It's like you both want to reconnect. You both want to make this happen and have a new beginning here, but I feel like the past, may, and, and this is something I've been getting for some of the signs, um, the past is something that you have to work through. Um, this person possibly also um, was working on something and working on something and it's like over time it was exhausting. But they're not giving up. They're not giving up on building a strong foundation with you is what I see. And even though they might have some sort of obsession or unhealthy attachment, they want to make things right. Look at this. Justice and the Knight of Pentacles. And the star again. Wanting to heal this connection, wanting to get this moving. It's like, I feel like this is all they think about. I feel like there's almost like an obsession here with making things right, with fixing things. So let's get some romance angels to get some more insight into this situation. 
This is my very cute, tiny Romance Angels deck that I just got. Um, it's kind of like a reprint from China, but it works. So we're going to go with it. Spare, what other messages do you have for Pisces, please? What other messages do you have for Pisces? Regarding this situation, what other messages do you have for Pisces? Regarding this situation. Religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Okay. Anything else for Pisces, please, regarding this connection? Chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. I do see that. There's you, You're both into each other. Almost like you are connected in a way. Tell me more about this connection with Pisces and the person that you're thinking about. Let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. Interesting. I'm really getting for some reason, it's like I'm seeing this in a very unique way, bear with me, but it's almost like someone wanted to make this work so badly <clears throat> that it, it's like they, they wanted to force something so badly that it backfired for some of you. And then for others of you, I'm getting the sense that there is almost like an anxiety in this connect in this connection um because there's such strong chemistry it's like you guys don't know what how to deal with that what else for pisces what other messages do you have for pisces regarding this connection getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other your bond deepens I feel like with this getting to know each other, it's almost like you need to reconnect and relearn each other because of whatever happened in the past, there has to be transparency. There has to be communication to help heal this. And as I say that there's heart to heart conversations at the bottom of the deck. Um, and now it's religious factors. It could be that some of you have very traditional background or um, a lot of you have been trying to be more spiritual because of you know your feelings towards this person wanting to make this work wanting to make this happen um, there is chemistry here and there is i think potential here um, but it has to be cutting through whatever this moon energy is whatever this is here you need to cut through that and open yourselves up to each other but this person i feel like you both want the same thing i just think that there's that one hurdle that you have to overcome but i i do think that you both want the same things i'm going to put some wisdom i'm going to pull some wisdom of the oracle cards here because i feel guided to do that spirit what other messages do you have for pisces Regarding this connection. What other messages do you have for Pisces? Regarding this connection. I don't know why, but I feel like pulling a few of these for you guys. So let's see what messages we get from Spirit. Regarding this connection. Wow, we got Yin. That fits so well with what I've been saying. Yin is all about kind of letting go. Um going with the flow kind of energy i'm going to read that message because i feel like there's something in there for some of you clean it up yep not for you interesting tick tock let's get one more what other messages do you have for pisces loyal heart very interesting Hmm. Let me read Yin Yang first before I get into this. I'm not, not Yin Yang, Yin. <laughs> Look at this beautiful card. I love this card so much. 
yin, the feminine principle of receptivity, letting someone else make the first move, gathering information and taking in cues, the art of conscious allowing. So for the relationship message, let others take the lead right now. Your power lies in small gestures, soft awareness, and conscious surrender. By yielding the reins, you will find yourself effortlessly moving closer to what you truly desire. So yes, this has a lot to do with this letting go of control issues. Some of you need to just let things happen in the way that they're supposed to happen in the time they're supposed to happen. Now with clean it up, again, I'm getting the sense that someone here is running out of time to, to fix something here. Time is of the essence to get this cleaned up is what I'm seeing. I feel like this person intuitively knows that. Um, and then with not for you and loyal heart, this I feel like it's such interesting energy because not for you is te technically meant to be something that's just not meant for you. I feel like timing for you guys was really an issue. Maybe you didn't connect at the right time. Maybe this person wasn't for you when you met them, right? But over time, I feel like both of you have been loyal to each other. You have not given up on each other here. Because the connection is so strong and there's hurdles here that you need to overcome. But I really feel like not for you in TikTok, this was just not the right time. It just wasn't the right time. But I feel like if you clean things up, if you let go, then you will have that loyal partnership that you seek. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this resonated with most of you. If it did, please leave me a comment, like the video, let me know how you um, how this situation resonated with you. I love hearing from you. Thank you so much once again to everyone who subscribed and liked and participated in the channel. And I hope to see you guys back in my next video. Take care.